amazing swords and magic TV series of the 90s and 2000s. The sword and sorcery genre was being explored to the fullest following the grand success of movies like Conan. People were amused by the idea of this fantasy genre, and the writers churned out one story after another to put into movies and TV shows. While there's a long list of such movies that made it to the popularity charts around the 80s and 90s, the TV series were not far behind. It essentially became a part of American culture back in the day. Especially during the 90s and 2000s, often regarded as the golden age of such TV series, we have been treated to some amazing TV shows that captured the true essence of the sword and magic genre. These had some interesting plot lines woven by the makers and the audiences were wooed by the promise of an engaging series. In this video, we will look into 10 such popular TV series that ruled the 90s and 2000s. If you have been a sword and sorcery fan, these TV shows are sure to catch your fancy. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. Xena Warrior Princess, 1995-2001 the protagonist, Xena, used to be a mighty warrior who led a band of outlaws terrorizing Greece. She regrets her past actions and sets out to redeem herself by fighting all evil forces. She is joined by Gabrielle, who wishes to become a warrior. Together they embark upon an adventure through the ancient world where they must defeat the evil warlords and gods. They form a powerful friendship and their righteous journey forms the crux of the story. As long as you're not finicky about the historical inaccuracy, this show promises to be a great entertainer. The show has some gravity-defying action scenes coupled with campy humor. The two protagonists, Xena and Gabrielle, have a unique chemistry brewing between them. The characters undergo transformations through the course of the series, and it's fulfilling to watch them change each other for the better. The CGI in those times was not the most impressive, and yet the gorgeous actresses Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor take your mind off such minor flaws. The best thing about Xena is that she has no superpowers, and she's a hero who banks upon her skills of combat. The exotic tribal music composed by Joseph Loduca adds further value to this show. Watch this series for the fun value, and as for the history, you can always tune in to the History Channel. Hercules The Legendary Journeys, 1995 to 1999. We are all well versed with the heroics of Hercules, the bastard son of Greek god Zeus. In this TV series, they explore his journey as he goes from numerous adventures slaying monsters and evil beings with his superhuman strength. He is hated by his stepmother Hera, and often he's seen trying to overcome his challenges set up by her. In these adventures, Hercules is accompanied by a human sidekick named Lolas and at times by Sam Aeneas. There are few better places to shoot an adventure series than New Zealand. The beautiful landscapes made for some majestic views and realistic natural sets. Kevin Sorbo was perfect in the role of Hercules, and this show also put Sam Raimi in the spotlight. The graphics might appear cheesy, but the same company later did the award-winning graphics for Lord of the Rings. Considering the times, the technological brilliance is missing, and yet the captivating story never allows a dull moment. The show might lack the mythological accuracy, but with with the jaw-dropping fight choreography and the most heroic Hercules on screen, you surely won't be complaining. Merlin, 2008-2012 you're probably acquainted with the legend of King Arthur. This series is all about how he got there. It dives deep into his early life where he and his companion, the magician Merlin, go for several adventures. It shows the incredible role of Merlin in shaping Arthur to becoming the legendary king that he was. The story becomes interesting when we learn that Merlin must hide his magical powers to stay alive because the king has banned all forms of magic. As they fight off threats to the kingdom, the story takes us through their exciting journey. The story focuses a lot on the growing relationship between Merlin and King Arthur. There are moments in their budding friendship that are truly heartwarming. The cast, comprising of Colin Morgan as Merlin, Bradley James as the young King Arthur, and Anthony Head work their magic in bringing these characters to life. 
It's an emotional roller coaster with some action and generous doses of humor. The special effects and dialogues are a tad cheesy, but that doesn't impact the quality of this engaging show. The Dragon is fun to watch, especially with its British accent by John Hurt. Overall, Merlin is a must-watch for those who take heart from fantasy drama and adventure shows. Beastmaster, 1999 to 2002. This series is both a reboot and a spin-off of the Beastmaster film series. It starts off with a skilled warrior, the Beastmaster, who's the last of his tribe. He seeks his lady love while wandering through the dangerous ancient lands. He can control animals with his mind and he defends them from all evil entities. He and his companions must defeat a mighty evil sorceress and a wizard called the Ancient One. They must also stop the evil god Balsifer from carrying out his evil intentions. Beastmaster is entertaining, but it does not require any higher level thinking. There are some noticeable plot holes, but you can choose to ignore them if you concentrate on the fun part. The story always keeps you on the edge because the show is noted for killing off some of the important characters. There's a great message about animals that is carefully masked through the storytelling. The acting by the likes of Daniel Goddard, Jackson Rain, Stephen Grives, and others is spectacular. It is a visual treat with the amazing sets and locations used. The characters are colorful and the villains straight out of a fairy tale in their menacing avatars. Even with some childish episodes, the show packs quite a punch. The Adventures of Sinbad, 1996 to 1998. The fond memories of stories from the Arabian Nights will come alive with this show about the brave sailor Sinbad. He embarks upon a journey across the seven seas with his crew. During this journey, they face several challenges and threats. They come across evil wizards, strange tribes, and giant sea monsters, but nothing can stop their voyage. Their adventures form the storyline of this entertaining series, and the brave exploits of Sinbad make for an exciting show. There's some vividly drawn-up characters in the show, and the chemistry between Sinbad and his brother is particularly fun to watch. The special effects are nothing to speak about, but the makers compensate for that with the interesting twists and turns in the plot. While the show ran for two seasons, the second one took a darker turn with a change in the characters as well. The first season was arguably better, and had it not been for the low popularity of the second season, the show would have gone on. The cast was appropriate, and the likes of Zen Gesner, George Buza, and others played their roles to perfection. Try out this underrated gem, and you will not be disappointed. Legend of the Seeker, Series 2008 to 2010. When his father is brutally murdered, Richard Cipher comes across a mysterious woman who seeks his help. They soon discover that some ancient debts have come due, and it comes with thundering violence. Richard must rise beyond his combat prowess and sword fighting skills to deal with the threat. As he takes on the tyrannical evil forces, the episodes get bloodier and more interesting. Does he win this unending battle? You would be stunned at the quality of action sequences in this show. The stylized fights is just perfect and there's some remarkable stunt work to make the scene stand out. The attention to detail is impressive and the makers even pick the ideal cast for the series. Craig Horner and Bridget Reagan have an amazing screen presence and chemistry between them. The scintillating landscapes of New Zealand make for a visual treat. The camera work, CGI, use of slow-mo, and every other technical aspect come together to make this show a great success. There are some angry reactions of the book, fans who hate the changes made to the script, but the show manages to hold its own and it's worth a watch. Highlander, 1992-1998 what happens when immortals fight other immortals? You're about to find out with this exciting TV series Highlander. The story takes place after the film where Duncan Oat is an immortal being who is pursued by some others who want to kill him. The first season shows him trying to live a normal life with his girlfriend. We learn that he can only be killed if he is beheaded. The second season throws a light upon a secret society that is assigned to record the acts of the immortals. In the following seasons, the story takes a more serious turn as Duncan takes on the other immortals. 
Unlike the usual shows in this genre, this has a thought-provoking plot. It's packed with action and a sumptuous dosage of humor to lighten the mood. A very amusing part of the show was how they explain things from the past with a dramatic event. For instance, when Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, saw an immortal get stabbed and rise to life again, she wrote the famous novel Frankenstein. It gives you an insight into the intriguing question, what is it like to live forever? There are some very interesting characters, and the one of Methos the Survivor is particularly amusing. Adrian Paul does a great job in the role of the protagonist. Highlander will appeal to those who love a story that gives them something to think about. Sheena, 2000-2002 Sheena is the queen of the jungle and she protects the forest land from encroaching civilization. She was orphaned at a young age and since then, she was nurtured by the shamaness Kali who taught her the art of morphing into an animal. With these powers, she is now the protector of the forest and its creatures. Gina Lee Nolan is a showstopper in her titular role. The Baywatch star is an absolute heartthrob, and you can watch this show just for her. Others, like John Allen Nelson and Margot Moorer, also give some decent performances. The show derives strongly from the comic book version, and that makes some of the scenes a tad unrealistic. The sexual tension between Sheena and Matt Cutter also appeals to the audiences. The costumes could be better, and the creature effects left a lot to be desired, but overall, Sheena is an entertaining series definitely worth your time. The New Adventures of Robin Hood, 1997 to 1999. The legendary outlaw is back in a new avatar. You have usually seen Robin Hood as the character who helps out the poor and protects them from the oppressors. Here, the premise remains the same, with the only addition of some fantasy elements that make it stand out from the rest. Robin Hood and his accomplices loot from the rich and donate to the poor. Their fight is against the tyrannical Prince John and all other evil people who exploit the poor. If you like the stories surrounding the legend of Robin Hood, this show will appeal to you. It is for those who can spare a little imagination and wouldn't frown at the cheesy plot. Do not sulk at the low-budget special effects and remember that the show isn't about all that. It captures the nostalgia of the countless tales of valor that entertained generations before us. Replacing Matthew Peretta as Robin Hood with John Bradley was not the best of changes, but to be fair, both played the parts well. The acting is surprisingly good, and the episodes quickly take you through one of their adventures. For a fun fantasy show, we strongly recommend this amazing TV series from the 90s. Conan the Adventurer, 1997 to 1998. The premise is a world where there are mystical wizards, magic, and superstitions. The heroic Conan is a mighty warrior who is aided by some others as he seeks to retake his homeland from the powerful evil sorcerer. Their adventures make the bulk of the storyline. He also encounters the beautiful bandit queen Corella, and they develop an interest in chemistry. It is never a good start to be compared to a legendary movie. The constant comparison meant that despite being good, the show didn't stand a chance with the audiences. Arnold Schwarzenegger was etched in their heads as the mighty Conan, and they refused to accept someone else for the part. Besides the harsh comparison, the show was actually a brilliant effort to recreate the magic. The special effects were pretty good, and so was the performance of Ralph Muller as Conan. It had monsters, fights, women, and pretty much everything apart from a dark touch to the plot. The gore in the Conan movies is missing in this show and is probably another reason why the fans criticized it. The show did not have the longest of runs, but if it is to be judged individually, it's not half as bad as people make it out to be. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to us. It helps us a lot, and do let us know in the comments section. Have an amazing day ahead, and we'll meet again soon.